rip, rip, rip. And we're ready in five, four, three, two, one. Yo, what's up, everybody? This is Bron Johnson with the Bron Johnson Show, episode four. So excited to have you here today. There's no one in the audience right now. I'm literally talking to no one. <laughs> so my original concept for this episode was to have a live audience on here on Zoom where I can deliver an amazing class to you, a little 20, 25 minute class. And at the end and throughout, people can ask questions about the class, about the material, and also at the end about their personal lives, about their struggles, about their dreams. And I can give them live feedback on how to move forward uh, the best that they can for themselves and for their lives. And so that the reason why I'm not doing that today is because to be honest with you, I was fighting and fighting with the tech, learning how to use it properly so I could um, execute my idea properly. I didn't get there in time, but the good news is, is that every fourth episode, so the next time we do this, it's gonna be August 19th, I believe, of 20, 2020. And so then um, I'm gonna do a lot better job of promoting and learning the tech I need to implement the idea properly. And so we're gonna have a lot live studio audience and uh, I wanna make it fun. I, I see it as a combination of almost like the Ellen DeGeneres show mixed with the Sunday night sex show. Some of you are like, what the hell is that? What the hell is a Sunday night sex show? To show that me and my sister used to watch when we were kids, it was this little old lady, Sue, right? Little Sue. And uh, she took calls from people live and a answered questions that they had about their sex lives. And these were really raw, vulnerable, um, honest questions about their sex life. And Sue, lovely little old lady, she's probably passed away now, this was years and years and years ago, um, did an amazing job at answering people's questions. And so I want the fun of The Ellen Show and I want the seriousness and the hard hitting, meaningful questions of the Sunday Night Sex Show. So uh, that that's that's the goal. Uh, um, eventually that's what, what the Braun Johnson Show live is going to be. But without further ado, friends, uh, today we are going to be talking about how to raise your vibration in under 10 minutes. So you're gonna get an amazing class today. Um, I'm gonna lead you through some really, really basic but extremely powerful and potent material. Please, whatever you do, do not mistake the simplicity for how um, for a lack of potency of what this material can do for your life. And so don't just listen to it and run off with your day. Take it in, really treat this like a class. What you put into it is what you're gonna get out of it. Um, the good news is, is if you're watching this, it's, it's already on YouTube. And so you can watch it as many times as you want. Uh, feel free to leave your comments, leave your questions in the bottom. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you can join this awesome community that we're creating here, all geared toward helping you live your best life, um, heal your trauma, and move forward with the life that you were meant to live. So without further ado, you know, this, this would be the time of the show typically where I'd interact with you a bit. Um, really exciting. I'm really excited for this aspect of the Braun Johnson show, but this is just me and the camera today. So let's get right into the course or the class that I have prepared for you today. How to raise your vibration in under 10 minutes. Let's rock and roll. How to raise your vibration. Ooh, I'm just gonna put my camera in the bottom right because I like it the better. Okay, how to raise your vibration in under 10 minutes. Let's get it. Boom, this is gonna be really good for a lot of you. Take this in, take this in, take this in. What you are going to learn today, my friends. Okay, the number one crucial step everyone must take in order to raise their vibe. Again, please don't mistake the simplicity of this material for a lack of potency. There is some amazing things that th these concepts and these ideas, if you embrace them, if you integrate them into your mind, if you integrate them into your life, they will completely change the quality of your life. And I'll tell you a little bit more about what exactly I mean by that in, uh, in a little bit here. So number one, the number one crucial step everyone must take in order to raise their vibe. Number two, a scientific understanding of why you feel every emotion you feel throughout your life, both positive and negative. A lot of people don't really understand. I ask all the time in my coaching sessions, you know, 
what, where do your emotions come from? And I get a lot of ums and hmms and people actually have to think about it. This is something that people should know, boom, right off the bat. Because if you don't know it, then that means that to some degree, you are uh, letting your emotions run away with you by default. And that is not serving you as much as it could when you understand and implement this material, this knowledge, this information. Number three, a simple to understand practice you can start using immediately to start raising your vibe in well under 10 minutes. So excited to get into this with you. And this of course will improve the quality of your life. So boom, let's get into it. The number one crucial step, number one, everyone must take in order to raise their vibe. I'm gonna start off by telling a story. About 12 years ago in 2008, I was introduced to, I'm gonna bring myself back here a little bit. I was introduced to, um, Brian Tracy, okay, who is one of the grandfathers of the personal growth industry in the 20th century, arguable. But anyway, uh, he was a big, big influence to me and I um, tuned into the psychology of achievement. And in that audiobook, okay, in that audiobook, I learned something so powerful that I still take with me today, which is the root of all negative emotion is blame. That's Brian Tracy from the Psych Psychology of Achievement. Understanding that every single negative emotion that you have, the root of it is blame. So for now, just understand that as a pure concept, okay? So now we gotta ask ourselves, what is the opposite of blame? If you want to totally negate blame from your life, the, the obvious practical answer is, okay, well, what's the opposite of blame? And the answer is responsibility which if you break down the word responsibility, it's response able, meaning you're able to respond to something. So isn't that interesting? Instead of blaming you know, the world, blaming the outside, uh, outside people or blaming yourself, you're taking your power back and you are taking back ownership of your ability to respond in the way that you choose. So very, very simple friends, but again, very powerful. The number one crucial step you must take in order to consistently raise your vibration is to make the decision to take 100% responsibility for the way you feel in any given moment. 100% responsibility, meaning that every single emotion that you feel, you have to accept that it is you that is ultimately choosing that emotion. If you do not do that, then you will always be, you will always feel like a victim to some degree to your circumstance and you'll always feel like you don't have any control over your emotion. And so this step alone can change your life dramatically if you implement it. So right now in this moment, just start to play with that idea in your head and it doesn't have to be an intense, I know I'm coming at you with a lot of passion, but it can be a very soft acceptance in your heart, in your mind, in your body to just say to yourself, okay, I'm gonna start accepting total responsibility for the way I feel in any given moment. <sighs> totally has the power to change your life completely. Number two, I told you, this is really simple. We're going fast, um, but it's, it's, uh, it's really powerful. So number two, a scientific understanding of why you feel every emotion you feel throughout your life, both positive and negative. So, Question, how does every emotion get inside your body? Now the flawed premise, excuse me, I had a little burp ski. I'm gonna have some coffee. Cheers. Um, so the flawed premise about how every emotion gets inside your body is that the way you feel is because of what happens to you, right? Something happens in the world and you have a reaction to it and you feel a certain emotion. But that's actually not true because that's the same as blame, okay? When you really think about it, when you really break that down, the outside world and what happens ultimately has nothing to do with the way you feel, ultimately. Because like in number one, if you're taking full responsibility, it doesn't, for the way you feel, it doesn't matter what happens to you. You can feel good or you can feel bad. It depends on how you respond to it. So. The key um, point in number two, the scientific understanding is that in scientific, what I mean by scientific, I mean quantifiable, reproducible, meaning that it's consistent. It's the same for every single human being on the planet, no matter what. 
And so the science here is that every emotion you feel, whether positive or negative, is your body's reaction to the way you are perceiving reality in any given moment. Read that a million times, listen to that a million times because it's so important to understand why you feel every emotion you feel is that your it's your body's reaction to the way you are perceiving reality in any given moment. Meaning that if you're looking at something, if you're looking at a person in a positive perspective, in a positive state of mind, you will experience positive emotion in your body. But what happens with most people is that they don't believe that they have any power over their perception, over their thoughts, over their beliefs. And so it's almost like their thoughts and their beliefs are thinking them. But when you engage in step one and take your power back and recognize that every emotion you feel is your body's response to the way you are looking at reality, you have a much, much higher interest in taking score and, and, and keeping account, keeping a, a conscious awareness on how you are looking out into the world. Powerful, powerful stuff. Number three, see this is easy. A simple to understand practice you can start using immediately to start raising your vibe in well under 10 minutes. Let's get it. So the first step, you know, I know I'm repeating myself a lot here, but again, repetition of information is the way you integrate it into your reality, into your life. And so it's important that we, I keep on hammering this into your head. So the first step is to accept total responsibility for the way you feel. Number two, I understand that every emotion I feel is because of my response to my experience, not the experience itself. So let's engage in the practice now. Okay, so the practice in step one, every time you feel negative emotion, ask yourself this life-changing question. And I know that sounds a little bit hokey, but it is true. When you take your power back, you have the power to totally change the quality of your life because you are going to start showing up in a way that makes you genuinely happy because you are taking your power back and choosing to be at cause with your emotion instead of being a victim to it. So every time you feel negative emotion, just ask yourself this calm, simple question. Who or what am I blaming right now for the way I feel? Interesting question. Who or what am I blaming right now for the way I feel? This is such a powerful question because when you get to the truth of who or what you are blaming, then you can have leverage over your emotion, right? Once you've heard the adage, the truth will set you free. It might sound cheesy because everybody says it, but it is very, very true. The truth will set you free. So when you get to the truth of what you're blaming, and here's the three most common things people do blame. Number one, themselves, right? How, how many times have you blamed yourself for something that you have or haven't done, right? So many people can relate to that, myself included. Next thing that people blame is other people. How many times have you blamed the government or blamed a family member or blamed that person that cut you off in the street, right? It's human. It's not about shaming ourselves for having blame, but it's about taking an honest look. And of course, the past. But when we stop blaming and take our power back, we can engage in the second step of the practice, which is forgiveness, okay? So the second part is to find the truth of what you're blaming, right? Well, actually, that's the first part. The first part is to find the truth of what you're blaming. And then the second part is then be willing to forgive yourself the other person or people or the past for the way you're feeling. Friends, it sounds simple, but when you do it, it will change your life. And if you're really listening to the practicality of this, then you will absolutely agree with me um, that this material, this information can totally change every single relationship in your life because you will take your power back and you'll start owning your emotion instead of being a victim to it. So just a little bit more on forgiveness so you understand exactly what I mean by it. Forgiveness does not mean you have to agree with, support, or like whatever you're blaming, okay? It doesn't mean being a doormat and saying that what happened or what that person did is okay, right? Because it very well not be okay, all right? But if you continue an attitude of blame, then you're going to perpetuate the negative story in your head 
and that means you are perceiving a negative story, which means you are feeling negative emotion all the time. And that's not healthy long term. So forgiveness means having a high willingness to accept the person or circumstance for what it is, even though you may not be able to change it. Right. So, for example, if you're blaming the past for something and you have this story in your head that you um, that what they did was so wrong or what happened was so wrong, the essence of forgiveness, the root of forgiveness, forgiveness is total acceptance. So practice acceptance, practice forgiveness, for, practice letting go of that which you cannot change, my friends. When you do that, whoo, baby. The outcome of that is living life on fire. And it's not something that happens overnight. This is a practice that you engage in, okay? Also, it is a lot easier to practice this, uh, practice this practice alongside other people that have a willingness to take their power back because the truth is my friends i don't know what your social circle is like but if you are engaging with a lot of people who aren't willing to level up in their lives then this this material is not going to seem as it's not going to make as much sense to you but for the people that are really living life on fire for the people that are really living uh deep meaningful fulfilling lives for themselves they are engaging in practices like this, whether they're aware of it or not. So I told you this was quick, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Summary, the number one crucial step everyone must take in order to raise their vibe, accept total responsibility for the way you feel. Boom. No one, no one, no one can make you feel negative unless you give them permission, whether you're aware of it or not. So practice taking your power back. A scientific understanding of why you feel every emotion you feel throughout your life. Every emotion you feel is because of your response to your experience, not the experience of yourself itself. And then the practice. Step one, ask, what or who am I blaming right now for the way I feel? Be honest. Tell yourself the truth. The more honest and raw and vulnerable you are with yourself in step one about what you're blaming, the, the easier it will be to shift it in step two. Forgive the shit out of it. Accept that it happened. Accept that that person is like that. Accept that you may not be able to change it. And my friends, you will be able to totally raise your vibration in well under 10 minutes. I mean, for goodness sakes, when you really start practicing this on a high level, um, just making sure that this is all right. Yeah, it's good. Um, when you really start practicing on this on a high level, no one can no one can fuck with your system right no one no one can no one can tear you down and i mean i'm not saying that i'm perfect at this i'm not saying that the goal is to be perfect well i guess in a way it is but the point is simply to to raise your vibration on a more consistent basis right because it's like going to the gym. When you first start practicing this material or when you first go into a gym and you start lifting weights, what happens? It's hard, right? That sounded kind of like I was taking a shit, <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's, it's hard at first, but when you start flexing your mental and emotional and spiritual muscles in regards to not allowing anybody's negative story to become yours, then you become a much more potent, much more happy, much more fulfilling, much more successful human being in the world. And so I hope you enjoyed this short little class. This would typically be the point in, um, in, the, in the live show here where I take live calls on the phone, um, whether through Zoom and put, this per put the person up, up here, or if they just want their voice being shared, great, excuse me. Um, whatever it whatever it is the point of this part of the segment of the show will be to give awesome fantastic um, feedback to whoever shows up so that they can level up in their lives my friends all my love to you and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day this is the Braun Johnson show live episode 4 how to raise your vibration in under 10 minutes God bless you